Hello everyone, this is Justin aka Jinkin Rocket and welcome to part one of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now this is one of my favorite games of all time and maybe might be what I consider to be the best game ever made. Oh god damn it. For my birthday on Chris oh, for my birthday. On Christmas of 1998, I got the original gold cartridge, which I still have. Right here. For reason that should be obvious I'm playing this on emulator, but recording on that old stuff is, is you know, a nightmare. Just gonna hop right here. Kind of a tradition of mine is always to use Link, since that's his name. Alright. And um here we go. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own, her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> Here we go. The comic scene. This would be an interesting song. Even to this day, this is still one of the moodiest moments in the game. Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? This is when Link's character kind of got that lazy grip. And Navi begins her, uh, annoyingness. Navi's got a rep for being annoying. It's one of the most annoying characters in all of the video game history, for reasons that will become obvious. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. 
The great, De the great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Back as a teenager, but maybe just barely a teenager. That was incredible. You know, like on your adventures, there's kind of a motivation to fight. Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kakiri, Link. Isn't that right? Or is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Keep going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. The graphics are dated, but it's still super attractive. I remember being a kid and like thinking this is all so vast. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You got a fairy? See what? The Great Deku Tree has actually summoned you. What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Nido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. Okay, it's Navi. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. Coordination is great. Okay. Uh, control cameras. Okay. Hi, Link. Look this way. Look over here with Z and talk to me with A. Yes, yes. That's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally have a fairy party. I'll teach you how to talk to people using the fairy. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, Press Z to look in that direction. If you use Z targeting, you can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now. When you have nothing that you can target, you can press Z just to look for. Try it. Sean, I think this is where you get the shield to just buy it, basically. How much does it cost? Welcome. Take your shield 40 rupees. This shop, it sells things you can get in the forest for free, Teehee. Do you know how to use the Deku Shield, Teehee? When you get the shield, press Start to get to the subscreens. Select the equipment subscreen with Z or R. On the equipment subscreen, choose it. Yeah, I know how this works, it works the same. This game and every game after, pretty much. You have a fairy now. That's great, Link. What? You've been called by the Great Deku Tree. What an honor. He may give you a special gift, Tee. That's because the Great Deku Tree is our father, the forest guardian, and he gave life to all of us computers. It's so funny because later in, um, in uh, Wind Waker, you encounter the Great Deku Tree again. 
Basically, all the procure you turn to these like weird plant spirits. But you know, but so much time has passed that you, know, you can't really tell who is who. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna take talk to these characters. Cause why not? Yeah. A by the stone, pick it up. A by the stone, pick it up. Mean old Mido, he made me pick up the rocks in the front of his house. I just need to collect four rupees. Yeah, just the way he moves and everything is, it looks really great. Okay. Um. Oh, a fairy finally came to you. Now you have a lot to learn. The best place to go to learn some new skills is in the forest training center. It's on the hill just above you. Okay, what is this? House of the Know It All Brothers. Yeah, there's something that's still sort of attractive about this in particular, like. I don't know, even the design style, even though it is quite antiquated, it's still really beautiful. And in some ways it feels to me more than like, say, Wind Waker. I can teach you about the icons at the top of the screen. About the yellow icons, about the blue icons. I don't know what about either. Okay. Yellow icons. Three yellow icons in the upper right are called C icons. Okay, we know all this. Oh, that's another thing. You cannot speed up the text. Ooh. That's a pretty good reason to talk to everyone, because it's going to be the same with the others. Right, so, leave that alone. I do remember the finding my way out of the forest took forever for some reason. Like, the first time I did it. Oh, you can climb all this. Here, once I get the sword, I can chop grass, and that allows me to get it. Alright, so we're in the forest training center here. Oh, shoot! Ow! Oh, ouch! Nice. Ran straight over. Okay. So. Viewpoint with Z targeting. You will have no object to look at. You can just look forward with Z. Stop moving and then change the direction you are facing or hold down Z for a while. This can help you get oriented in the direction you want to face. It's quite convenient. If you hold down Z, you can walk sideways while facing straight ahead. Walking sideways can be a very important technique in the dungeon corridors. Turn around and try to this right now. Selection screen. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, let me. That's right. There are. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sages in this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven sages, I don't remember. So, initial three things are the ones at the bottom there. And then you have. You have that many songs in this game? Damn! You get 12 songs. That's crazy. I forgot about that. 
Okay, so we're gonna equip this. Whoops. And we're gonna do something about. Oh man, it's just everything about this game is so appealing. Okay, there it is. Oh, can I not do Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Push through the sword, press forward while targeting toward your target while C targeting press P. Yeah, it's weird, you know, it just kind of feels like the game hasn't advanced. This is kind of one of my dearest regrets about Zelda. It feels like it hasn't advanced that much, considering it's been 20 years since this game. A little ridiculous. Like 20 years, 98, so 2008, yeah, 2018, 20 years. Alright, so, we come around here, uh, cut this glass, and then get. Oops. I'm trying to make it somewhere as possible to get into C4, but this is 4 system. Have you seen that controller? That controller is nothing like any other controllers. You know, this is back when Tino really had to do everything. I mean, it still has to do everything pretty differently from everyone else, but... Um... This was really difficult to The only controller that's kind of as wacky as the, uh, N64 controller is probably the Wii controller. Which is... Like, a stick in that sucks. Ooh, but Tino was meant to make that an actual... Okay, so, get this up here, and wow, that, that loading distance is so crazy. <laughs> you came all the way up here. You're a real man. Look, isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with... Oh, the C button. So you can look around the forest. The reason why it was kind of so wacky is because it was just one stick at a time when, like, more, uh, basically every other controller and moving more toward a PS, um, you know, PlayStation model with two sticks. Um, okay, so I have enough for the shield. I just know not taking it for the time that I put like this final hole in the wall. Okay. Kind of an uncomfortable statement. Deku's are basically trees, so what is the Deku shield made out of? Is it a shield that Deku's use, or is it a shield that's made out of Deku's heavy? Sort of nope, that's all I have for you. Alright, we're gonna just equip this bad boy. Um. Oh, I've got a good plan to see these 
Hey, Mido. You want to see the degree of between you should at least equip a sword and shield. Hey, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield? And what's that? Is that the Kofiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Seria and the great Deku shield, huh? Yeah, they never really took their match interesting anywhere, which is so sort of crazy because even though they weren't proper romantic matches, Deku Tree. I'm back. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless. And full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast built it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Thus thou have courage enough to undertake this task. Yes, I do. Then enter brave Link, and thou too now. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, use up sea to listen well to her words of wisdom. I know you need sticks, so I'm going to take some now. A short one, but I think I'm gonna stop here since this is a proper sort of section. I kind of would prefer to do it all in one go, um, so we'll stop there for now uh, and uh, call this first section finished. Uh, this is Justin, aka Jinkin Rocket, looking forward to playing more games with you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.